Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video we're going to go over some of the new quick look, quick actions, and screenshot features found in Mac OS Mojave. <laughs> Starting off with Quick Look, which is Apple's convenient way to let you view photos and files without having to open them in their respective applications. To activate Quick Look, simply select the file and press spacebar, which will let you view the file and give you a couple of options in the top right corner, such as the ability to open the file in its respective default app or share said file. In macOS Mojave, these options still exist, but will also have the markup button available, as well as the rotate button if working within images or videos. The rotate button will obviously allow you to quickly rotate your photos or videos, and it's something that I'm super happy about because now you can quickly adjust the orientation without having to open any apps. The same applies to the new markup button, which will give users the ability to draw on or annotate images or PDF documents using arrows, shapes, and text. You can also use markup to quickly sign a document with your digital signature. If you're viewing a video file in Quick Look, you'll see a new trim button that allows you to trim the clip without having to open up QuickTime. Clicking the trim button reveals the scrubbing and edit ribbon along the bottom of your clip. You can then click anywhere in the ribbon to jump to another point in the video and drag the edges of the yellow frame to trim the clip to the desired length. In macOS Mojave, Apple also introduced a range of new Finder quick actions that make it easier for you to perform quick edits to files without having to open up the apps associated with them. To view available quick actions, you need to enable the preview panel in Finder. To do this, open a Finder window and select the menu bar option View, and then Show Preview or you can also press the key Shift-Command-P. Quick actions are located in the bottom right of the Finder window, just under the preview of the selected file. These actions will change depending on the file. For images, clicking Rotate Left turns the image counterclockwise, while clicking Markup invokes on an enhanced Quick Look window containing a set of markup tools that we showed earlier in Quick Look. If multiple images are selected in Finder, the Markup button will change to Create PDF, allowing you to turn those images into a single portable document. If you select an audio or video file, markup will be replaced by trim, which will launch a quick look window with an editing ribbon to trim the file. You can also customize quick actions by selecting the more option, which will open up the extensions pane in system preferences, where you'll be able to select other actions to add to Finder's preview pane. The actions available to you will depend on which applications you have installed and any pre-existing Apple scripts on your Mac, which as you can see here, I currently have none of the above. Finally, screenshots in macOS Mojave received a useful update including a new feature that introduces a new screen capture interface that unifies the screenshot and screen recording features on your Mac, making accessing them easier than ever. Taking a screenshot can still be achieved the same way as years past by either using the Shift-Command-3 keyboard command for a full screenshot or Shift-Command-4 to select a portion of your screen, and by pressing Shift-Command-5, you'll bring up the new screen capture interface that we mentioned before. The screen capture interface gives you quick options like capture entire screen, capture selected window, and capture selected portion of the screen. You'll also see screen recording options such as record entire screen or record selected portion of the screen. There are also more options available like where to save the file, if you'd like to add a timer, and a few other miscellaneous options. Once you actually take a screenshot, you'll notice a thumbnail of the screenshot minimized in the bottom right corner of the screen. By tapping that thumbnail, you'll launch into a quick look like window with markup tools available, as well as the delete and share buttons in the top right corner. So what do you think of these new features in macOS Mojave? Let us know in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.